Hello families, welcome to story time. I'm so happy you joined me today. I have a book about singing and dancing. Are you singing and dancing while you're at home? I hope that you are. This one is called Song and Dance Man. And it looks like he is the man who is singing and dancing. Can you tell me what this is in his hand? And what is this here? And look, does he have shoes on? No, he doesn't. Hmm, is he a young person or an older person? Thank you for observing things with me today. Before we read the book, let's go ahead and start our candle. Lots of matches. Now on the tip of the match is something to help it to ignite. And when you rub it against this surface here, it lights. This is only to be done with a parent. And then we blow it up. <gasps> Do you see the flame? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's beautiful. Now you can see the light is coming in through the window and it's bouncing off of the leaves right here. And that light is what's giving energy and food to this plant. And the plant's root system is in the soil and that's absorbing the nutrients from the soil, the minerals that it needs, and then also water. So today I'm gonna to be watering all of my plants and what do plants give us in return? Can someone tell me? Plants give us oxygen. And oxygen is something that we need to breathe into our lungs. And then what we breathe out is called carbon dioxide. The plants need carbon dioxide. So when we're breathing out, they take in that carbon dioxide and they work on it and they make it go into their body and then they give off oxygen. So having plants in your house, especially when you're home and indoors a lot, helps to give you fresh new oxygen into your body every day. And you're also helping the plant. Mm -hmm. So let's start our story. Have you found your special scent? There's many kinds. I used to love rose and I would wear that every day, but now I'm wearing a lot of lavender. Mm -hmm. The Song and Dance Man. This is by Karen Ackerman. It's illustrated by Stephen Gammon. Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the vaudeville stage. So here are the children who are coming to visit Grandpa. And there's Grandpa sitting in his comfy chair and he's looking and seeing the children coming to visit him. Now vaudeville was a type of theater where you would go and you would see many different people doing many different things like singing and dancing and juggling and having funny stories to tell. It was a show and he used to perform. And it may be that now you're spending some loving time with your grandparents. Are you seeing your grandparents a lot lately? I bet you are. If mommy and daddy are working, sometimes grandma and grandpas love to see you and take care of you. I'm going to just scoot down a little bit. So that's what these little ones are doing. They're going over to see their grandpa. 
When we visit, he tells us about a time before people watched TV back in the good old days, the song and dance days. Mm -hmm. There he is dancing with them. Before there was TV, before there was the internet, people used to go out to watch their entertainment, their shows. And so he was telling them about the good old days. Do your grandma and grandpa tell you about your good old, their good old days? Yesterday in the garden, Joshua's grandma and grandpa were telling Joshua about their good old days. Supper in an hour, grandma calls from the kitchen. I wonder if my tap shoes still fit, grandpa says with a smile. And then he turns on the light to the attic and we follow him up the steep wooden steps. How many of you have been in an attic or have seen one? It's usually on the very top part of a building above where you live. And it's a space that usually has the things that you want to store in them. Sometimes people have attics or that space in between the roof and that floor um, that are very small, but in older houses, sometimes they're And does anybody know what tap shoes are? Do you? I used to tap dance a long time ago. Does anybody have a class that they attend that uses tap shoes? It's a shoe and it has a little metal piece on the bottom at the toe and on the heel. And it makes clicking sounds. That is very lovely and fun. Faded posters of grandpa when he was young hang on the walls. He moves some cardboard boxes and a rack of grandma's winter dresses out of the way, and we see a dusty brown leather trimmed trunk in the corner. So you can see that here are the posters, and they have a face of a person on it, and that happens to be their grandpa. And here is the trunk that has leather trimming, and here they are moving grandma's dresses out of the way. There's even a light in the chair. It's a very large space. I wish I had an attic that was this big where you could create a space all of your very own. As soon as Grandpa opens it, the smell of cedar chips and old things saved fills the attic. Inside are his shoes with the silver half moon taps on the toes and heels, bowler hats and top hats and vests with stripes and matching bow ties. We try on hats and pretend that we're dancing on a vaudeville stage where bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head along with the music. So there he is searching through all of the things that he has stored away. And there the kids are pretending to be the dancers on stage. After wiping his shoes with a cloth he calls a chamois, Grandpa puts them on. He tucks small white pads inside the shoes so that his corns won't rub, and he turns on the lamps and aims them, each one down like a spotlight. He sprinkles a little powder on the floor, and it's showtime. We sit on Grandpa's wooden, excuse me, Grandma's woolen blanket and clap our hands and call out, Yay, Grandpa! So he's gonna put on the show for them. There he is, making a spotlight so that you could see him bright. And there the kids are sitting on grandma's blankets. The song and dance band begins to dance the old soft shoe. His feet move slowly at first while his tap shoes make a soft, slippery sound like rain on a tin roof. We forget that it's grandpa dancing and all we can hear is a silvery tap of two feet and all we can see is a song and dance man gliding across a vaudeville stage. So here the artist is allowing us to see that the children are looking at him differently. They don't really see grandpa. What they see is a song and dance man, someone entirely different. And there he has his cane and his top hat and you can see on his feet are the tap shoes. He's 
says, watch this, and does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly, his shoes move faster, and he begins to sing. His voice is round and strong as a canyon echo, and his cheeks get rosy as he sings, Yankee Doodle Doodle Dandy, Yankee Doodle Doodle Boy, a song that he knows from a good old days. There are many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember, but the show is better than any show on TV. The song and dance man stops and leans forward with a wink. What's that in your ear? He asks and he pulls out a silver dollar out of somebody's hair. And here he is playing, tapping, and this instrument he has is called a banjo. And here he is dancing away. He rolls his bowler hat down his arm, catches it in his hand and flips it back onto his head. Now, know how to make an elephant float? He asks. One scoop of ice cream, two squirts of soda and three scoops of elephant. We've heard that joke before, but the song and dance man slaps his knee and laughs until his eyes water. And there he is rolling his hat down and right back on his head. And there he is laughing away at his own joke. He tries to wipe them with red. Oh, oh his eyes, his eyes are watering. He says he tries to wipe them with a red hanky from his vest pocket, but the hanky just gets longer and longer and longer as he pulls it out. And he looks so surprised that we start laughing too. And it feels like the whole attic is shaking. Sometimes we laugh so hard the hiccups start and grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says, or I'll have to scare you. <laughs> there he is pulling and pulling out a never-ending piece of cloth. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold-tipped cane and a black silt, silk top hat from the trunk. He lowers his eyes and tips his hat, and he's standing very still. All lights are turned low except one that shines on the polished tap shoes. This is the grand finale. So the song and dance man takes a deep breath, lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly he starts to tap. His shoes move faster and faster and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. He spins and jumps into the air, touching the stage again. He kneels with his arms spread out and the silk top hat and the gold tip cane lie side by side at his feet. His shoes are still and the show is over. There he is, tapping as fast as he can tap and the grand finale ending with a bow, kneeling. We stand up together and clap our hands, shouting hooray and more, but Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head all out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in a chamois cloth and puts them back in a leather trim trunk. He carefully folds his vest and lays the top hat and the cane on it. And we follow him to the stairway. Grandpa holds on the rail as we go down the steps. At the bottom, he hugs us, and we tell him that we wish we could have seen him dance in the good old days, the song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days that he spends with us. But as he turns off the attic light, Grandpa glances back up at the stairs, and we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he goes, excuse me, when he was a song and dance man. Bum, bum. 
So our parents and our grandparents have beautiful stories to tell us and have lived so many things in their lifetime that have given them stories that they can then give to us. So I invite you today to talk with your grandma, your grandpa, or whatever name that you do call them. Ask them questions about what they used to do when they were younger and ask them if they could tell you stories. I bet they have lots of stories to tell you. And being with our grandparents and being with our parents is a special time so that we can learn more about who they are and they're going to teach us so many things that we'll be able to then teach other people as well, like you and me. So the next time I see you, I hope you tell me all about the stories that you've learned. I'm going to say goodbye, but I hope that you read today, that you sing today, that you dance today, that you do yoga, that you meditate, that you breathe and eat healthy food, that you play outside and you get your hands dirty in the soil and create your gardens and make beautiful, wonderful things from the oven, like breads and cookies and pies and cakes to share with the people you love around you. Have a phenomenal day, everyone. I love you. Bye.